Hello friends, welcome to my channel Technical Arquen, myself Arnab Kundu. Today I will discuss another Java problem in BlueJ ID and the problem is that to convert a binary number to decimal number system. In my previous video, I have discussed the problem how to convert decimal number system to binary number system and today's video I discuss how to convert a given number which is in binary number system and to convert into decimal number system okay so go to the computer screen in blueji id i will write the code in java to convert a given number which is in binary number and how to convert it to decimal number okay Hello friends, I am just within the blue JID and today I will discuss the another Java problem and the problem is that to convert a binary number to its equivalent decimal number. Okay, so previous video I just discussed how to convert the decimal number to binary and today I just discuss about how to convert a binary equivalent to a decimal equivalent. Okay, so at first we create a class. So just press on new class and suppose put the class name is binary underscore decimal okay and just press okay so this is the file and just double click on that so extra code just remove so our class name is public class binary decimal whatever the code written within that just remove it and for that particular problem also we take some import part one is scanner class and then need a math class so just write import java dot util dot scanner and also import java dot lang dot math we need this math class to do this problem now what happened the previous problem is that when we convert from decimal to binary we just divide by two now when we get the binary equivalent and if we convert into decimal if the number is pure then we multiplied each and every binary digits from right to left increasing power of 2 starting from 0 means 2 to the power 0, 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4, 5 in that way it's just going on. So this is the actual calculation or the code how to convert a binary equivalent to decimal equivalent. Okay. So within this class at first we define our public static void main and send as argument string ARGS and just write within that particular our logic. So at first we take some integer suppose write int n and c is a variable and put some value initial value is 0 okay and also take double variable and the variable name is r and d also put the d value is 0 by default okay and after we instantiate the scanner class just write scanner sc equal new scanner and send as argument system dot in okay and after we should take input so just write system dot out dot println and just write enter a binary number put a colon double colon and this close semicolon and now we take the input in form of binary equivalent so just write n equal because within this n variable we store it so n equal just write sc dot next int okay and after again we just write a while loop through that we can calculate it so just write n not equal 0 and within this braces we just write our code so at first we should write the code within this part and this loop is going on until and unless n value is 0. So, n not equal to 0. If it's true, then it executes logic. Okay. So, just write at first r equal n percent 10. Okay. And now, after that, just write d equal means we find out the remainder and then just write d equal and just write d plus and then just write r asterisk 
math dot pow because whatever the binary digit is concerned we just multiply it to power to power and starting from 0 to increasing way to do a 0 to your 1 to your 3 in that way going on now we just write d equal d plus r asterisk math dot power why because whatever the binary equivalent each and every digit of binary just multiplied by 2's power and starting from 2 to the 0 from right to left just multiplication is going on 2 to the 0 2 to the 1 2 to the 2 in that way that's why r means the remainder asterisk math dot power and what we send as argument just right here 2 comma c c means c start from 0 already told just increasing 0 1 2 in that way is going on and after we just write c plus plus because whatever the increasing power should be increased from 0 1 2 in that way whatever the digit is there is just increase according to that okay and this is actually simple logic and before do the part we just write n equal n divide 10 means we need the quotient and from that quotient we just go for the looping when n is 0 we just stop calculation means automatically we got our decimal equivalent okay now after we just print our result system dot out dot print ln and just write the decimal equivalent is put a colon double code end and just write plus and as d is double we just casting it into integer so just write int and after we just write d because d our actually our output so we just d as we taken as a double so we need to convert it into integer means we just casting it so that's why we just casting the d into integer so just write within parenthesis int okay so this is our code to convert from binary to decimal so if we compile it and close it so there is no error so just right click on that and just choose void main and press ok now suppose we entered the binary uh, number so just write in the console 101 so we already know 101 means 5 so yes the decimal equivalent is 5 again if we run it so just enter some uh, equivalent binary number suppose 110010 the decimal equivalent is 50 so if you calculate this particular binary number by multiplying 2 to the power 0 to the power 1 to the power 2 3 4 5 and if we add this we got the result 50 okay so this is the simple code through which we can convert a binary equivalent to decimal equivalent where whatever the binary equivalent it should be a pure number and each and every digits of the binary equivalent should be multiplied by power of 2 starting from 0 from right to left okay so in that way we can calculate our problem from binary to decimal equivalent i hope you have understood today's topic for more videos keep watching my channel technical arcway if you like this video please like it share it and if still not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel okay and also if you have any doubt from today's problem you can write in the comment section so today up to this bye bye